And so now, wherever you happen to be, our action comes to you from Turf Moor here on the northwest of England. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Burnley up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Ben Mee in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Ben Davis starts alongside Davinson Sanchez in central defence. Rodrigo Bentancur plays with Harry Winks in the engine room. And in terms of the attack, Hyung Min Son plays together with Harry Kay. Thank you for attending today's game at Turf Moor, home of the Clarets. Enjoy today's game. And the game begins. Rodriguez. And the cross goes in. And a struggle to get it away properly. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Son. Harry Kane. Now well, just couldn't keep the ball. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Can they put it away? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. And take it away. Lucas Moura. Now Son. A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Goal line standing at 1 0. Rodriguez. Will he play it in? Peters. Cornet has it. Accurate ball and towards the near post. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Lucas, Matt Doherty, oh, good use of the ball, Bentancur, oh he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two, just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Westwood, and we saw the situation developing.
Bentancourt. Harry Winks now. That's a good looking ball. Promising move from Tottenham. Bentancourt with it. Well, a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. Just wanted to get it out of there. Son. And it's Winks. Here's Kane. Keeping it moving dynamically. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. It is to be a throw-in. Westwood. Rodriguez. And pull back. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Can someone get on the end of this? Cleared away comprehensively. Veghorst. Peters. Now Peters. Could play it in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. They're pre the referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. A glorious save by the keeper and nothing wrong with that free kick either well this has to be their way back into the game the crowd are certainly playing their part trying to deliver it accurately just the clearance that was called for it's one corner after another Over it comes. Lennon. And caught by the keeper. Well, half-time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, your thoughts on what we've seen? Well, they've been poor in the first half. Their passing's been too slow, their movement's not been dynamic enough, and they've been sloppy defensively. I'm sure, though, they'll come out in the second half and play with greater urgency. They certainly need to. Moving forward effectively. But nothing comes of it. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. So, a personnel change then. There will be three minutes added on at the end. 
Bentancourt. Kane. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Now they restart the game, and Spurs really cantering to victory now. It's beginning to get out of hand. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So much to like about the all-around attacking qualities of Hyung Min Son. Well, you won't see too many better performances than this. He's been an absolute menace to these defenders today. And, of course, he's taken his goals really well. So the ball is moving again. Spurs having already made a big first-half statement here. Lucas. Son. Lucas with it. Matt Doherty. Will he play it in? Winks. Now Son. Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Corner kick played in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. A oh, nice ball over the top. Firing it towards goal. Not to be this time. Son. Doherty. Oh, just couldn't keep the ball. Maxwell Cornet. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Kane. Bentancourt with it. Far from a good pass. Lotion. Lennon. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Now we're into the final half hour. Bentancur. And it's Winks. Oh, he's given the ball away. Westwood. Brownhill. Cornet has it. Not a bad pass it was. The cross is on. Brownhill. Veghorst. And he takes it away. Can they hit on the break? Bentancourt. Every pass hitting its target. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And space for the cross. Kane. Bentancourt. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. to lose his marker and teammates to play it to Josh Brownhill can they convert cross fired over and pushed onto the woodwork Playing it in, well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Well, these fans are making for the exits now. Their team have been totally outplayed today. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Westwood. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. And deep into the penalty area. And the header just over the crossbar. Winks. Ten minutes to go then. Davinson Sanchez, Lucas, Doherty has it, now far from the ideal pass you've got to say, so the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today Stuart. Well where do I start, they've been totally outplayed in all areas of the pitch but it's their defending that's really been poor today. No structure, too open, not enough desire and a lack of urgency. This is a worrying performance. Lucas Moura. Lucas. Superb block. Kane. Another block. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Good pass. About Veghorst. Cork. Now Peters. Could cross it in here. Peters. The delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. And there it is, the final whistle. or well, not exactly what Clarets fans wanted to see in terms of the result. A defeat here. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, in typical fashion, Son carried out his duties efficiently. I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.